In America, we have the right to have hobbies, and in America, we also have the right to choose our path. In America, we have the right to choose the job we do because we accept that job. We accept the values of work. We accept the value of money to the dollar that we are paid in the earning of that work. And you can sit and call me an arrogant jerk, but the truth is how I earn for my living, how I earn to feed me, is based on what I have to do to walk out into the street when it's not marvelously raining, when it's not marvelously snowing, when it's not marvelously hailing. And sometimes I still have to go in that because law enforcement stole my fully paid for business vehicle from me. They didn't have the right to do that. But you don't care about that because you don't believe that. That's fine. I don't care if you believe me or not. But what I do believe is that in America we have the right to choose our life. You choose to go to a 20-hour job a week and you make your living. Maybe you have a second job to make 40 hours a week, which is what most American citizens do. They make a 40-hour work week in a salaried job that pays for their living. But if you're not content at your earning level, then you have the right to apply for other jobs. You also have the right to use your free time to make a sideline business, what we call mailbox money, where money comes to your mailbox because you've sold something, a service, a product, or something you've made. You have the right to do that on your free time and your weekends to start to prepare for your retirement. But if I make my living in 20 minutes of the day and yet you see me sitting for, gosh, nine hours a day, how does that make you feel? You see, my expenses at this time are very low and modest and humbling and humiliating, in truth. But you and your marvelous wisdom about what you do for you think that what you do for you should work for me too.